is over here at the Goodwill Outlet, which is my second home. And I'll be showing you today how you how you outlet, how do you do it, how do you have it. Yes, let's get started. Please listen carefully. The magical place of the bins is where all of the Goodwill rejects go that haven't been sold in the stores or just extra donations that they can't accommodate in stores and are sold instead by the pound. Okay, so two things you need to bring in are the gloves and your bag. These will be life savers and the gloves are so that you don't cut yourself on the glass, which can happen. And also you can get your hands clean. You don't have to worry about all the gross things that you're about to touch. When you're looking for clothes in the van, realize that it's not my size. So you can do it. You can all these fancy things that you might not have because they're either different than you're looking or different size. So have fun with that. Something that really drives me crazy is single-use t-shirts. What is the point of having to sign this? Just sign a card, make a video. I don't know. You're never gonna wear this again. It's ugly and no one cares. After I've collected all the things that I think I want, I look through them and see if there are any holes or stains. I don't know if I'm going to be working with this You know? It's a little big. Oh. After about an hour at the bins, I came away with only four things because today there was just loads of lovely band t-shirts and gross Walmart clothing. So these are the four things I got. A book for 10 cents. Excited to read this. I only got one thing for myself, which was this jacket. And it's, you know, just a jacket. Uh, fun there. And I got two things that I'm gonna be selling on eBay, which are this very swanky, gothic, velvet long coat from Anthology, and a vintage Pendleton sweater. So make sure when you're going to your Goodwill outlet that you bring your bag and your gloves and don't get discouraged if you don't find things 95% of the time, it's just crap, but finding that 5% is what's going to make your day. One of the drawbacks of the Goodwill outlet is you can't try things on, so I usually wear jeans because I'm pretty good at guessing my size, but if you're not sure and you want to try things on, make sure to wear just leggings and a black t-shirt so you can throw things over. So just because things are cheap at the Goodwill outlets does not mean you have to buy something and don't feel bad if you spent all your time and you don't end up finding anything. Sometimes I like to just go with friends and see who can find the weirdest things like my sister and her friend did because they were very bored and didn't want to film me the entire time. But there's lots of things you can do at the Goodwill outlet and it's okay if you don't come away with a mountain of clothes. So if you guys would like to see more thrift hauls or Goodwill outing videos, go ahead and comment that down below or just like this video. And if you'd like to see more content about slow living, fashion, and travel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. That's all for this week, and I'll see you guys next Monday. Out, Monday.